Now, let's find out more about Little Mo's extraordinary skill. Um, Little Mo has uh, flown in all the way from Norwich uh, to tell us about what she can do. Uh, you, can, you can do words backwards. Yeah, words. And, and whole sentences. And whole sentences. Right. How long? You're now... What, 16 about, 16 now. years old. How, uh, how did you first discover it and how old were you when you first discovered it? Well, it's quite a tricky one to answer because I think I've always been able to do it. But it only really came out about a couple of years ago. Um, and my sister and I were arguing and my sister said to my mum oh Mo, uh, mum, tell Mo to say some words backwards you know, to get her to shut up and right. then my mum did and my mum said wait actually that's that's quite weird. <laughs> well, it is quite weird. It's a skill. Yeah. Is it, I mean, is it one of these things, are, in a, do you have other, I was just thinking if it's, if you don't mind me asking, if it's on a sort of like, on the spectrum, on a bit of a, <laughs> yeah, a bit of an autistic thing, sort of, would you say? Uh, it or could that, be. Um, you've I'm not got really no sure. other, nothing else that you, you know, you don't have to go in a room and rearrange all the food. No. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. So, um, how do you do it? Do you vision, because I know we've been trying it out at home, lots of different sentences. Mm. For instance, if I was to say to you, uh, the week in radio. Oi, Dan, I kill it. And what do you, do you see, do you picture the words um, in, your, in your head? Is it I a visual art? I think I do. It... I don't really know how I do it. I think it's easier when I just don't think about it and it just sort of comes out. Yeah. But I think if it's a tricky one, I do have to sort of visualise it in my head. Yeah. Well, put your headphones on just for a sec because um, one of our regular listeners, Brian Long, has his own theme tune, which is this. A moustache, a moustache, if you've only got a moustache. So there you go, it's a moustache, a moustache, if you've only got a moustache. And he just tweeted, say, just out of interest, can little Mo do a moustache, a moustache, if you've only got a moustache? Uh, I could swam at Ogulno every way fear. I could swam a, I could swam a. There you go, so a moustache is a could swam ma. Yeah, right. So it's uh, and we we tried reversing it uh, and playing the tape the other yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't work, does it? Because you can't pronounce mm. the word uh, as it's supposed to be pronounced. Yeah. And do you? I mean, you're at uh, you're at a, a posh school, a posh boarding school. Do you uh, do you use it there with the other? Has it, has it made you a sort of like star um, within your own? Not really. I don't think people really know. No. <laughs> do you I know, guess you they'll find out about... eventually. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, now you're on the radio, people will uh, will find out about it. So let's uh, let's do you uh, a sentence from. Uh, well, let's pick up the Daily Mail. Let's pick up the Daily Mail. We'll do one from the sports pages of okay. the Daily Mail. Uh, this is uh, the headline over uh, Arsenal's defeat by Sheffield Wednesday. Owls have a hoot. To a Eva slow. Yeah, that's an easy one, isn't it? And um, underneath, it's got Wednesday stun sorry Arsenal in League Cup. Uh, Puck a gual ne uh, lenas rayuas nuts uh, yadzen ju. Yadzen ju is Wednesday, isn't it? Uh, let's try and find another one here. This is one about Chelsea. Uh, Jose taken to the wire. Ero it ut nekat esodge. Good, nice one, esodge. Uh, let's see if we can find another. Venga is left black. That's Venga with a W, obviously. Okay. Is left black and blue. Ilbda kalb twelse regnail. Very 